Hey guys, it's iPod App Reviewing here, and I've got another app review for you. And it's going to be on Resident Evil Degeneration. Uh, this is a pretty cool application. It costs $6.99 in the App Store, and it is 3D, which is kind of neat. Neat is a weird word, why did I say? <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, it starts off a little, of, a little video before you get started. It's pretty simple. Blah blah blah, who cares? I wish I could skip this. Because I can skip it. Alright, so as you can see, you can continue a game that you've started, start a new game, load a game that you have saved, check out the options, you know, like change some options and whatnot, and check out extras. But, um, let's quickly check out some of the options. And, uh, it's settings, language, delete high scores, delete saved data. Alright, but let's start a new game here. So, the pre-save, whatever, I don't really care if it's lost. You can choose your difficulty, which is nice, but I'm just going to start off with easy, just for the purpose of the video. Um, you can do lots of cool things in this, you know, climb up ladders, uh, jump through windows, just, you know, it's stuff like, I'm not talking very properly right now, <laughs> but it's definitely a pretty cool game. So, as you can see, here it is. That's who you are. Kind of creepy, but I'm not going to uh, tell you what they say here because it's just a waste of time. So, uh, as you can see, I'm using a sword right now. So, you can use swords uh, or guns. Uh, you can use your sword uh, when you uh, lose your... when you lose ammo, when you don't have enough ammo for your gun. But, uh, once again, I don't want to listen to that chick. Whatever. Oh, shoot. Alright, so let's climb up the ladder. So what you have to do is you just have to go close, and then you can click the ladder, and it allows you to jump up the ladder. Alright? Now you'll see a little drop, so you're going to want to drop down into it. Oh, and there's some ammo. She's just telling you what to do, because there's ammo. Because I'm just starting a new game. So, let's pick it. Oh, yep. Take the handgun ammo. Cha ching Right. Um now uh let's jump through this window. Alright? So boom. That was kinda cool. There's some glass and whatnot. Turn the volume up a bit. Alright, so now here's a zombie. You gotta shoot it. There we go. Shot that bad boy. Alright, so it says then the blah blah blah, they're just saying that the zombies are infected and that there's going to be lots more coming. So, as you can see, oh, 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 here's, you're going to, here's some more zombies on its way. Oh, there's two. You can aim it. Okay, there we go. Killed them. And let's say you've got a zombie right behind you. What you can do is simply flick back really easily and it does a 180. Um, another thing is, uh, as you guys know, is you can aim. You can move your aiming thing around. You can walk. You can use a sword, you know, when you have to, in case you don't have enough ammo and whatnot. And also, uh, you know, you jump through windows and different stuff like that. It's pretty cool for this 3D application on an iPod Touch or iPhone. So, if you guys like this, go check it out. Uh... As I said, it costs six ninety nine, but um, Capcom has done a great job making this application. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.